fight is coming. You tell him I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? I'm coming for you. When he come looking for me, I'm coming looking for you and you. <laughs> and you. Because y'all gonna have to help me fight that big nigga. What no, you talking about? Yeah. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of gay, but hey. Ah. Uh? <laughs> the worst fucking. Yeah. Uh, the worst part about podcasting is like thinking about what you're gonna talk about, and then when the moment comes, you just fucking black out. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. No, dude. Honestly, intros are for fucking pussies, dude. I yeah, used to no. hate doing intros because I would always do it like emotionless. And then I would just be like, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, it is, it is fucking, yeah, you're like an emotionless person. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm an emotional person, but I'm emotionless on the outside. But it's funny because when you podcast, you like, if like, cause you have, you have your podcast. When you have a podcast, you have to be like the person that like yeah. runs shit and like, oh, yeah. do- and like is outgoing and shit. And you just aren't like that. Dude, I got a message once. And it was like, <laughs> it was like, bro, your ability to keep a conversation going. Second to none. <laughs> really? I was like, this kid's fucking lost. <laughs> like, dude, you, dude. This does, uh, dude, when I first, uh, when I started, dude, I had, uh, I dropped like my life savings on everything. Yeah. And, uh, this was at my mom's house. And I invited, I reached out to the hottest chick I've ever met in my life. Mm. And, uh, dude, everyone in my high school, like, uh, had a crush on her, like, absolute like princess like yeah whatever you want to call it so she shows up late and she's like yeah i got like 20 minutes and i was like awesome <laughs> i was like 20 minutes dude I, I spent like weeks thinking about this moment i was like oh we're gonna sit down talk for like an hour yeah. about like biology she was your class. first guest one of them yeah she was the legitimate first guest and uh dude so we sat down for like 20 minutes and it was like the worst conversation i've ever had I, <laughs> I was trying so hard like dude, I planned out questions and everything on record too, and like she was like, "All right, I have to go. Like I have to head out after like twenty minutes." And I was like, "All right, you know, it's cool." Yeah, dude. I, I get up and I like walk over to the camera, dude. Nothing recorded. <laughs> <laughs> and when she left, she's like, "When do you think it's gonna be out?" And I was like, nah, "I'll see you never." Like, <laughs> I legit never talked to her again, dude. <laughs> yeah. She thinks you just have that recorded like for yourself. Oh yeah, she probably thinks it's up. I don't think she would have shared it, but no. This was like my high school, like, dude, I was talking about biology class. I was like, you remember when I used to like rip ass in biology class? And she was like, I don't want to do this. Like, <laughs> she was so uncomfortable, dude. But dude, pretty you, much. Yeah, you basically just, and it would be funny to just start a podcast and the whole premise is just to get girls in from your life that you've like yeah. never have talked to. Yeah. That you want to talk to. You've yeah. never talked to them ever. And then for the first time you talk to them, it's on camera. Yeah. Dude. That's uh. Dude, talking to chicks is so hard, like, in general. Uh, like, having them on a podcast would be, like, oh, it's not a- being sexist, but, like, dude, for me, that would be, like, nearly <laughs> impossible. Legit. Yeah. That's why it's insane that the first guest that you ever, or one of the first guests you ever had was just a chick. Yeah. Dude, the amount of, Not like, a comic. Not nothing. being sexist either, dude, but, like, the insecurities where they're, like, oh, my God, like, can I see what I look like? Yeah. Just, like, you know. Yeah, no. But girls love being on camera. You think so? Yes. It's <laughs> a broad statement, dude. <laughs> dude, they do. If you're just like, yeah, I have a podcast, they're like, oh, that's sick. And then they look oh, up yeah. the views and it's like 25 views. I'm like, yeah. oh, this kid's a loser. Yeah, I think they want to, yeah, they want the highlight reel, dude, but they don't want to go through the struggle, dude. That's the, that's for real. They don't want to go through the grind. They don't want the grind, dude. Yeah. They just all want to be don't famous. Know what it's like, dude. Yeah. We should start posting. We actually should post clips from this on Pornhub. Just like two straight dudes get fucked. Yeah. No, we should put it under like passion HD. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, dude, I would jerk off to that if I was a woman. Black. We put it on blacks.com. I was thinking more like pa- like passion, you know? Yeah. Pa- yeah. Uh, what are the other ones? Tushy.com. Tushy. What's the one? Oh, Nooblies, dude. You fuck Nooblies? with Nooblies? No. Nooblies Newble- is sick. Really? It's like mad HD. Oh, shit. Sure. And they're like always in a pool a lot of wow. times. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, I found out recently, dude, Tushy is uh is actually your butthole. I thought your Tushy was like your penis. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. You never like heard like Tush? 
Nah, dude. I used but, to Toshi say, is such a fucking weird name yeah. for a, for a porn site. Imagine saying Toshi as a grown man. <laughs> so, like, if you went up to a girl, and you're like, "Yo, I love." Or if you were having sex with a girl, and you were like, "Spin over, let me see your Toshi." You think she'd be like, "Ah, oh, I think yeah. I'm with a serial killer." No, dude. I remember, uh, dude, the first time I ever got a boner, I walked up to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> just rock hard dude and i was like my tushy hurts I, <laughs> dude i've never seen my mom so like confused in her life <laughs> she's like my son is rocking her tart dude. Yeah. dude this was a this is a week ago too dude if you said <laughs> <laughs> dude if you said spank my tushy <laughs> To your mom? Oh, yeah, dude. That was the other thing. And you showed her your erect <laughs> penis? <laughs> dude, she would be like, holy shit. I got to send yeah. my son away. Yeah. That, dude, I, I feel bad for my mom. Like, <clears throat> the amount of confusion that's taking place in her life throughout the years, dude. Just based on you? Just my life, dude. <laughs> like, dude, one time I took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you were I young? Took a, I took a shit uh, when 9-11 was happening. Yeah, um, that's mad patriotic. <laughs> <laughs> we used to we rented out my family. You were home like, from school? Yeah, this was like in the this was in like in September, dude. Nine eleven, dude. I was like five. Yeah. I wasn't even in school yet. I was like four or five. Oh, that's right, yeah. Dude, I, I like wanted to be a firefighter like you, dude. And uh I would spend time in the like we were super poor and uh we rented out like not like a condo but like a townhouse yeah and there was two townhouses next to each other so we had neighbors dude and i was literally i just had a garden hose and i was just hosing down trees naked pretending to be a firefighter yeah i was just hosing down trees naked dude <laughs> and 9 11 was taking was taking place <laughs> <laughs> blow the mic uh, but dude 9 11 was taking place <laughs> Dude, you're was, out that there. was a side, dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you were out there during 9-11? Yeah. Yeah. Spraying dude, the, down trees? Yeah. Because of 9-11? No, dude. This, oh, this is how ironic this is what, it was. Yeah. They, dude, dude, your neighbors <clears throat> thought you were probably mad. Pat- they're like, dude, dude John's my, wicked patriotic. Oh, dude, my whole family He's was watching. He's out there watching, ass naked My whole family was trees. watching the news, like watching it take place. <laughs> and you were out so back. were my neighbors, dude. You were out back training. Yeah. I was trained for life, dude. <laughs> dude you were, yeah. <laughs> and I ran over to my neighbor's townhouse and legitimately took a shit. <laughs> Outside? In their, like, on their lawn. <laughs> dude, what? Dude what? <laughs> dude, what the fuck, man? Dude, I wasn't that. Uh... Dude, you were, dude, you were five years old. <laughs> think about a five-year-old. I was probably outside. Four. I was probably four and a half. Think about a four-year-old outside naked with yeah. a garden hose spraying down a tree yeah. and then realizing they have to shit and just for some reason just going to their neighbor's house to do it. Yeah. Well, dude, why did, first off, why did your parent, why did your mom like let you outside naked? Dude, my mom would let me do anything. <laughs> yeah. My, right now, my mom would let me do <laughs> Just anything. walk around yeah, naked. She'd be like, whatever you want. She'd be like, mom, yeah. look at my tushy. <laughs> hey, dude, look at the way I dress right now. Oh. She doesn't care, dude. <clears throat> Dude, did you have when you were younger? Did you have like a uh, like an attachment to your shit? That's like common with a lot of kids. My feces. Yeah, like when you pooped, were you like sad to flush it? I I was. Wow, holy shit! I was like, dude, because I thought when it went down. Yeah, because I was like sad for it. Wow, you know what I mean? You were sad for it, or you like you'd miss it, like you wanted to cherish the moment. I think like it, like I think that it was like mind blowing to me that it came out of my body, and then I like thought like. It had like a conscious <laughs> consciousness. Thought it had a heart. I th- for real, oh, and I was yeah. like sad that I had to like I had to like let it go. And I've like wow. really always had attachment issues. I think since then. Oh, shit. But dude, I remember one time I had to shit wicked bad, and uh, I was in my house, dude, and um, I had to shit wicked bad <laughs> for whatever reason, dude. I pulled down my pants like way before I got <laughs> to the bathroom, like way before. Yeah. So I was like running, dude. And and uh, I like got in the toilet and shit. And I just looked up from the toilet and there was just I had shit like all through like the bathroom <laughs> in the house. And I was just, I was just like looking at it. I was like, damn, I didn't make it. It was just like diarrhea. Dude, no, it was just like it was like pebbles. Wow. I like rabbit shit. Holy shit, dude. Throughout the house. And you got emotional after that? I think I was happy because those ones weren't like yeah, immediately yeah. in the toilet. Wow, dude. I wish I felt that way, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was always sad to like le- like flush my shit. 
Holy fuck, man. <laughs> That's wild, bro. That's <laughs> Not, another level. Like, dude. <clears throat> yeah. I, mean, I want, dude, I uh, I would take, like, massive shits. And, as uh, a kid? And I just wouldn't really think anything of it. Like, when I took the shit during 9-11, uh, <laughs> it's because I wasn't wearing a diaper, dude. And I didn't know how to, like, shit in general. I yeah. would just, I would just fucking pop off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you'd just like spread one cheek, pop <laughs> off, and then be out, dude. Get back to the garden hose. Yeah. But I mean, your per- it's all about perception, though. Like something, like if you saw that in real time, you'd be like, all right, it might be a little different. Yeah. But like, dude, I remember I was playing a, I was playing a game with my sister, and we were sitting like this. I was like four or five again. I was, I was wearing a diaper this time, mm. dude. I took the biggest shit and it flew out the side of the diaper yeah like that's how big the shit that was happens. and my yeah. mom was just like what the fuck yeah how old are kids when they stop i feel like four or five is like old to be wearing a diaper yeah for sure dude yeah, that's I mean, why I, you were taking you were taking like adult size shits like because you were too yeah. old to be wearing a diaper i mean i was overweight and unhealthy so yeah <laughs> for sure you were wearing like adult what are the adult diapers? I was called? probably wearing like normal size diapers, but I was like the size of a fucking third grader. <laughs> dude, you were like you were like a thirteen year old, dude. It's just like yeah. a diaper. I was also pretty poor, so I doubt my parents were buying like top notch diapers, which I heard are like pretty legit. Like Yeah, yeah. It's like buying a mattress, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, you gotta spend there's certain things in life you gotta spend money on. Yeah, like you get what you pay for, dude. And uh yeah. I should have been wearing something a little more high tech. Yeah. You know, I'm like what I'm wearing right now is pretty high tech. Dude, kids shitting is like crazy. Yeah. It's not really something I'm looking forward to. Like, no, my sister's had a baby and like, dude, like day three, it just like pissed on her. Really? Just like, damn. Just call it it. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, it is kind of an it right now. Like he's a young boy. He's a young man. Is that a pronoun? What do you mean? It? No, I just like, no, like he's a young man, but he's still, he's still just like He's like, there's nothing there. It's just like yeah. a fucking screaming. Just no, no thoughts. Crying like baby. Like that. Yeah. Dude, it, it is mad. The, her baby is mad funny. It always looks wicked concerned. It's always just, it'll just like look at you like this. It's like concerned about everything. Wow. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I used to have, um, I mean, I still do, but I think I had a tick throughout like my whole life. Mm. <clears throat> just super dry eyes and I never got it checked out. Wait, dry eyes? Yeah, but dude, they, That's my not eyes a tick, are so though. dry. I know, dude. I don't know what it was, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, they recorded. Uh, they recorded. Um, you remember in like kindergarten, you had to do like a fucking, uh, like a silhouette or some shit. Like you had to, yeah, sit yeah, in front yeah. of the whole school. That's that's not a silhouette. Whatever, dude. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> silhouette, <laughs> dude. A silhouette's What's like it? an outline of you. Oh, really? Like a black silhouette. Shit, dude. A yeah. rehe- uh, like a musical rehearsal. Rehearsal, yeah. Like for music class. Yeah. You had to sing. I'm trying to think of the word that you were trying to think of. Musical, and it's not really a musical. There's nothing it's even like close. A, you get the whole school together and you get those shitty yeah. bleachers and you all stand and you sing like yeah, Christmas yeah, carols yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they recorded that. And the whole time, I was literally just going like this. <laughs> I was literally like this. <laughs> like, dude, I couldn't You're not seizing. blink for like half a second dude i had a fucked up tick when i was little bro this made no sense in my because like ticks are all mental yeah in in my head i used to imagine dude i remember being like young and playing baseball and like this was in my head that i had a rope wrapped around my my legs (laughs) starting on like one leg and going to another and like wrapping around and so i would (laughs) mentally i'd want to unravel the rope so i would like spin (laughs) <laughs> spin dude i'd be in the outfield just the outfield? like yeah just like yeah, i'd do like a spin yeah. in like one direction because it would be like mentally like unraveling the rope wow that's like wicked fuck how up. often do you have to do that um i would do it like whenever <clears throat> so like, I, like if you unraveled frequent. the rope mentally how how long did it take you to recharge it, well it never it was like an infinity rope like it wow. never really so like, you're just spinning out there. unraveled yeah and wow. then and it would always be like one way but then i learned how to um like pretend that the rope was going the other way so i could spin in both directions at least wow. if that makes sense yeah dude that's like the most fucked up tick like of all time yeah dude if you combine it dude imagine if you saw a little kid just running out to the outfield like between innings and he was just <laughs> spinning dude in one direction dude if you, if you watch a little league game right now 
not the league, <laughs> but like Pee Wee or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Minor yeah, little leagues. Yeah. Like <laughs> minor whatever. leagues. Well, when I was growing up, it was like minors, majors. Mm. Like they set it up like that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So little. If you league. were in a farm league, but that was all little league though. Yeah. Yeah. No farm league. If you were in like farm, if you went to a farm league, which is like fucking first grade. Okay. It was be like farm is like after t ball. For me, it was t ball and then minors then majors oh really yeah yeah and then babe ruth yeah damn. <laughs> you go to a fucking t-ball tryout holy shit even back then i was like these kids are attacked <laughs> yeah, like dude. that was probably the hardest to ever laugh because i remember me and my friend went to try out for t-ball and you had to wait in the line and the coach would literally walk up to the tee put the ball on it and you had to like try and hit it yeah I swear to God, like 25 kids in front of us just hit the tee as hard as they could. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bro, this dude put, this dude just goes, all right, bro. He like looked at me. He was like, all right, take it easy, man. Like, don't swing yet. Fucking. <laughs> you wound up. Fucking puts the ball on the tee, and I just fucking went ham, dude. Like, <laughs> dude. swung as hard as I could right at his ass, and he like screamed at me, dude. Yeah. But, dude, it was like the hardest my friend and I have ever laughed just because, like, dude, everyone's smashing the tee. Yeah. Everyone's uncoordinated. So uncoordinated. And, like, you don't really think about that, like, yeah. how bad it truly is. Oh, Even dude. in Little League, dude. If you see some of those kids. Bro, there was this kid on my one on one of my teams, Matt Crawford, shout out. He ended up actually, like, being good at baseball <laughs> eventually, dude. Yeah. I think he, like, dedicated. Dude, we were in Little League. Bro, I'm not joking. He, he didn't strike out one season three times. Wow. Every time he got up at bat, dude, he would take vicious hacks. <laughs> Dude, he would take retarded hacks at the ball, dude. And he would do three pitches, three swings, three misses. And he would freak the fuck out every time. Because he was he was getting... Dude, he did, like, the worst... Like, when you're a kid, dude, you have no, like, capacity to, like, mentally, like, reel yourself in after a mistake. Yeah. Like, if you make one mistake, like, the rest of the game is, like, yeah, fucked. Done, yeah. You're making 10 errors, dude. Mm -hmm. So he would just take a hack and miss, and then it would be like game on, dude. Yeah. He would just strike out three times every game. It was crazy, bro. I remember, yeah, I remember kids who would cry after this. He would out. always cry. I would almost, <clears throat> dude, remember, would, striking out was like, I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. I struck out in college once, and it was, uh, <clears throat> it was like legitimately, I almost cried, dude. Oh, in college, yeah. That sucks. Like, I didn't play at all. Your I hormones think I was just raging. Dude, they had a fucking, they had a whiteboard like that in the room, and I on the depth chart, I was legitimately seventeenth in <laughs> in pitching. Damn, seventeen. Well, after wait, <laughs> tell the story about you. You fucking beaned kids at at the tryout, dude. Oh yeah, I was with my buddy, and uh, I had just I went to state school, dude. I went to URI, yeah, and I was like, I can't do this. Like, I took I took a shit one day. Uh, and I like legit cried because you're... So I was just eating like I would go to the food court at like eight in the morning and I would just eat like 30 chicken nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, I was getting like <laughs> massive tits and I remember I just took a shit one day and I like legitimately started crying. I was like, dude, you're fat as fuck. Like you, you're not in a fraternity. You don't have any hobbies. Like you're a fucking loser. You weren't <clears> on the team at this point. No, I was at you or I, man. I just like one day I was like, I'm leaving. Like I'm getting out of here. Yeah. I legitimately just like left after the first semester and I start calling people and I'm like, Hey, like old coaches. I'm like, Hey, I, I want to play college baseball, like at whatever level. And they were like, I think we can get you in to like some D three schools or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. And like D three is like pretty legit. Oh, like, that's right. I dude. forgot. So I ended up agreeing to go to this division three school. And it was called Framingham State, dude. Yeah. Oh, you went to Framingham State? I didn't dude, know. Dude, I, I go on a, I go on a visit, dude. <clears throat> and like, obviously, the coach isn't there anymore. Or whatever. I go on a visit, and this is like on winter break. Yeah. This is in the middle of the school year, and this dude, this coach is super cool, and he's showing me around, and he's like the coolest guy ever. Yeah. I found out that this dude used to coach at a Division One school, mm -hmm. and he ended up partying with uh, the baseball like team kids yeah like the kids he coached yeah and he ended up driving into a house drunk <laughs> this guy's the man so he got tossed this is how you end up in so the d3 they, school yeah, so they sent him to a d3 school and this guy's like na he's a nasty coach he's yeah. a division one coach yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he just goes like yeah man like we need pitchers bro like come on through and this is so like dude this is unheard of like yeah. dude if you want to play college baseball you have to get like recruited you have to yeah, go through yeah. i know like, people was, that play yeah, it he was like dude just show up next semester so i like apply to the school and I get in, yeah. whatever. 
and they say I get in, but I have to like roll everything over from URI. Yeah. Dude, I showed up the first day and they were like, you can't be here. And I was like, <laughs> I was like what do you mean? And they were like, oh, like, we don't have your transcript from the other school. And I was like, I thought I was ready to go. And they were like, no, no, no. And I was like, so what can I do? And they were like, you, maybe next year. Yeah. They were just, you can't be here. Yeah. <clears throat> so I like literally had nowhere to go. That sucks. That's when I went to community college at the community college for Island, dude. <laughs> dude, you went and, to uh, mad school. I went to mad schools, dude. But I ended up, uh, <laughs> I ended up trying out, and uh, the night before, me and my friend take like four edibles, like literally like this big. Yeah. Like we take one, we're like we don't feel anything. Take two. Yeah. I remember taking the third or fourth one and I was just like driving down our main road and I had to pull over because like my eyes, I was cr- like, I was laughing so hard. Just by I, yourself. I legitimately had to pull over and just like, we laughed for like an hour yeah. straight. <laughs> and we just kept getting higher and higher, dude. Like yeah. it kicks in. Obviously. And I have this tryout the next morning at eight o'clock in the morning, dude. So I'm like super high. I can't sleep. And this is a community college. You like should be this on this community team, like, college. Easily. But dude, this is a community college that won a national championship. <laughs> like <laughs> these kids are Division One. Yeah, but they're, they're all fuck ups. They're fucking idiots. Yeah, so they ended like, up here. It's like Division One physical talent. Yeah, mentally like fifth grade reading level. Like yes, yeah, dude. So I show up to this tryout and I'm so high. I'm in the parking lot. I'm in like my flamed Dodge Ram. Like <laughs> my eyes are just like this. I'm like, dude, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. And they were like, you go through like the warm up and everything. And I'm like trying to, how are you along. feeling during the warm up? Lost dude. Like <laughs> yeah. no idea what's going on. Yeah. They were doing these crazy stretches. <clears throat> I was like laughing when I was running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they're like, this kid's yeah. fucking yeah. mental. Yeah. He's ready to go though. I kept, dude, I kept laughing at nothing. Like the coach was giving a speech and I was like, try, I had to yeah. like turn away. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, dude, I walked in the <laughs> locker room and I just see like, Dude, the most intimidating dudes I've ever seen in my life. Like, a lot of these dudes are just massive, and they're, like, super intimidating. And one of them was playing, like, Mario Kart on a TV in the locker room. Yeah. And these guys were, like, talking shit to each other. <clears throat> and this one kid was, like, he was, like, yo, did you shave your pubes and staple them to your face? To, like, the one kid. <clears throat> and I started crying laughing, dude. It's, like, not and, even that And the kid joke. who got made fun of was, like, oh, you think that shit's funny? Yeah. And I was, like, <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> like I can't stop laughing so hard. I was in another dimension. Yeah. Dude. But yeah, dude, first day they were like, yeah, we're going to do live pitching, get ready, give us your best, yeah. like literally try as hard as you can. Yeah. You're in a fucking cage with these dudes yeah. trying to strike them out. First pitch, live. fucking <laughs> beam a dude. Next guy gets up, fucking beam him. I beamed four dudes in a row. <laughs> and then I threw like five balls, like yeah. nothing even Wild close. Pitch. Yeah, nothing even moderate, a strike yet. Yeah. Nothing even mo- dude, not even a strike. Yeah. I tried throwing a curve ball, fucking like hit the top of the net. <laughs> and uh my last pitch, I hit some dude in the head and his helmet went flying off. And the kid behind was like, I'm not going in there. And the, the coach talked to me and I lied to him. I was like, yeah, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you could have just been like, um, <laughs> dude, you could have said anything else. Yeah, but dude, I was so high. I didn't want to be like, dude, I'm high as shit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. He probably would have kicked me out. Uh, but he wouldn't but yeah, if you're an alcoholic. I was like, yeah, it was a long night last night, man. Like I have a drinking problem. And he was like, oh, dude. We all have a drinking problem. Like, yeah. He was super sympathetic. That's man. sick. He was just like, yeah, man, you know, like, you just got to, like, figure your shit out, dude. Like, I was like, yeah, it won't happen again or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you literally <laughs> beam him in the head. <laughs> I vividly remember hitting this dude in the head and his fucking helmet was flying <laughs> off. And uh, the guy. Are you throwing a heat, dude? No. Dude, maybe, maybe 80 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. But. So, like, not. Not, like, heat, dude. Some of those kids have thrown, like, 88. Like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, dude, they had like lefties thrown like 88. I was like, I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah. Number seven, dude. I was 17. number seven. But you got on the team regardless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just last on the depth chart. <laughs> I didn't play. I think I played maybe like three times. Did you take at bats? No, I tried once. They were like, get the fuck out of here. Really? Were you, bat- <clears throat> were you a good hitter? I was actually better at hitting than I was pitching, but yeah. I. If you want to make a college baseball yeah, team, dude, be. word of advice, just go in for pitching because they have their depth chart is, is insane. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, they need to rest guys and stuff. And yeah, like, yeah. I never, uh, I don't even know if I got to pitch. I got to go to, I got in that bat once because we were playing the shitty, we were winning like 20 nothing. Yeah. And they were giving everyone at bats. Yeah. 
and they were like, you're yeah. like yo here's my chance uh, dude i hadn't swung a bat in like two years <laughs> yeah, like since yeah, fucking yeah. high school baseball the bat felt like it was like 30 pounds yeah this guy was throwing like 70 miles an hour <clears throat> and i remember i struck out damn three strikes right down the middle i couldn't hit shit dude. you swung and that i remember oh yeah i was fucking taking diesel hacks I was <laughs> yeah you're like this is my a- one at bat <laughs> yeah. of the season dude i'm going yeah. yard or like, striking dude, i'm out. hitting a fucking home run dude. yeah I, I like fucking tore like my fucking just ass let the back go at your fucking bench dude yeah, but dude that's i remember that happening and i was like walking back to the dugout and i was like dude what have you done like you just went to three different schools like yeah <clears throat> i was like dude you fucked up big time i should have stayed at you or i whatever but didn't make three teams. <clears throat> yeah, I did get in shape though, man. I lost a bunch of weight and like that was good. That was kind of like the main goal. Like I was like, you can't have diabetes at yeah. nineteen, dude. Yeah, because I, dude, I was getting some fucking tits, bro. Do you play basketball? I played basketball growing up a lot, but dude, like I was, in high school. Yeah, but I would you always like out? fuck up, dude. <laughs> bro, did I tell you? I see it one time. I fucking bro, I got an, I got an inbound pass. I would always play like, point guard, and I was always like, I was just, like for like. I don't know, retarded plays. Dude, I fucking, I got an inbound pass and this kid was like running down the court and had like an open layup. All I had to do was fucking get him the ball. Dude, I don't know why. (laughs) I wound up the ball as literally as hard as I could and just closed my eyes and chuck it, dude. And I, (laughs) dude, I hit the ceiling of the gym. (laughs) Dude. (laughs) So you like so then, you stopped at a like on a dime, dude. I got the inbound from under like the other team scored. <laughs> the kid inbounded me the ball, and I just look up and I see a kid, bro. And I just was like, I don't know why I did this. I thought I was Aaron Rodgers, but I just, yeah. dude, in my head it was like he was so far, yeah. and I was like an undersized kid. I was like very skinny and small, so I like had to put everything behind it, and I just yeah. hit the ceiling, and then, so then the fucking ref obviously <laughs> blows the whistle, dude. The other team gets the ball. They score again. Dude, They in, kid inbounds me the ball, dude. Legit exact same thing. There's a kid on my team running the floor. Bro, again, I fucking wind up and hit the ceiling again, dude. And, at, bro, I heard people in the crowd go, what the fuck? Dude, people were they like. They blow the whistle right when it <laughs> yeah, happens. dude. Oh, yeah. The ref was like, dude, you get to take a seat on the bench, dude. Dude, I. It was the mo- that was like one of the most embarrassing sports moments of my play, life. You play boys and girls club ball? Nah. Like what what age was this? That this is probably like twelve or something like that. Thirteen, probably. Yeah. So like in your prime. That like was it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually no, dude. My <clears throat> prime was later. I didn't play basketball later, but like when I played pickup, like I didn't grow until I was like fucking twenty two. Yeah. Dude, I was like so small. Oh <laughs> it, really? Yeah. And like I did legit didn't. You had grow. a growth spurt when you were twenty two? Yeah, Holy like I, my height probably grew when I was like 18. Wow. But like I didn't like fill out at all until yeah. I was like way later. Yeah. Like li- probably later than that, honestly, probably like 23, 24. And uh, but yeah, dude, I was just fucking dude. <laughs> also, dude, one time, bro, <laughs> this kid who's nasty at basketball, he's on the other team. He was like the best kid in the league. He was like fucking six foot eight, dude, and could shoot. He was nasty. Yeah. And I got a fucking breakaway. And I was coming down the court, and uh, I could feel him like coming up behind me. And he was try- he was like, I knew he was gonna try to block me, dude. So I just like jump stopped and like pump faked, dude. This kid took me out so hard, and I screamed so loud, dude. I don't know why. I was trying to draw a foul, but like I didn't have to draw a foul. Like he yeah. literally tackled me. And uh, that's super dangerous, man. When you go for a pump fake like that, and someone's behind you. Yeah, I got. You ever see that in the NBA? Leveled. Holy dude. shit. Yeah. Well, it's fucked when. People in the NBA like jump and then they like fucking. Yeah. A lot over. of the time they'll like catch you though, unless you're like a dick. Yeah. No, this kid just took me out, dude. He yeah. was just trying to block my soul. Yeah. Basketball is the shit, man. <clears throat> I was like, I was super obsessed with basketball when I was younger. Like, I would always have a basketball hoop. And Basketball's I would, so much fun. I would, dude, I would play in the winter months. Even yeah. when it would snow, dude, I would shovel the snow and put up shots. Yeah. But my, my hoop was always crooked, so I wasn't even really practicing for a good reason. Yeah, I yeah. was practicing to, like, miss. Yeah. Dude, I would put up, like, fucking thousands of shots. But I was, like, mentally defective, dude. And, like, I was obsessed with uh, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, who <clears throat> wasn't? And, uh, D. Wade, dude, he would always wear, um, <clears throat> he would wear spandex on his legs. Yeah, yeah. So, dude, I'm, like, 12, and I have a Boys and Girls Club game. So I go into my mom's drawer. I take out her tights. <laughs> I wear like long black socks and then I put the tights over them. 
and then I wear my shorts. Over the socks? Yeah. So I showed up to this boys. What color tights were they? <clears throat> like black. peach tights? Black. Uh, black tights. You could see like my leg hair though. Yeah, yeah. Dude, so I show up to this boys and girls I could club th- game. I could understand how you would like yeah. think that that's sick if you were a little kid. Yeah. Dude, I was like 12. I showed up to this boys and girls club game in my mom's tights. <laughs> And uh, my mom ended up showing, like, she showed up to the game, yeah. and she, like, never showed up to games because she was always working. And I remember, like, seeing the look on her face. Like, she was like, okay, like, here we she go. She knew you were wearing, She was like, here we she's go. He's yeah. wearing my tights. It was it was evident that I was wearing a woman's tights. Yeah. Like, because everyone else wearing just white socks. I'm yeah. wearing legit tights. Yeah. But, dude, they checked me into the game. <clears throat> dude. I catch the inbound pass as a point guard, playing point guard. Yeah. Right by the three-point line. This dude just passes it into me to bring it up the court. <clears throat> I literally stop at the three point line, put up a three, dude, all net, like in the other team's hoop. That's sick. Yeah, I shot it in the other team's hoop. <clears throat> in your, you mean in your hoop, dude? Like you shot the, in the wrong. The other team was on the other side of the court, waiting for me to bring up the ball. I <laughs> shot a three pointer. Yeah. Oh yeah. In the yeah. wrong. In the wrong basket, dude. They fucking stop the game. Like I've never seen so many people it was dead silent yeah like <laughs> how old are you i was like 12 we can dude, we You're... should put up a picture of what i look like because i had fucking tits dude. really i was hot as fuck dude. do you have a picture online <clears throat> i have a picture on my phone dude we can just put it up right. um dude it went all net and it was just completely silent <laughs> you cashed yeah, on your own hoop. dude so they stopped the game they like explained to me what happened and i was like oh shit yeah like uh, I, in my head, I was like adamant. I was like, "No, dude, this is our hoop." Like, yeah, yeah. I, that's for us. That's fucked. Yeah, they took me out of the game, dude. I remember my coach being like, "Yeah, you're not going back in." Like, dude, the only time I ever did that is, dude, we had a basketball game, and bro, I was, I would think I was like sick or like very like viciously dehydrated. Yeah. In like again, dude, again, like I was under, like I played point guard. I was undersized, dude. I would always play like I would have to play like so hard. And, like, I wasn't that good, but I was just the kid that was, like, playing so hard. And uh, I just remember, like, getting the ball and just, like, literally same thing. Like, I was, like, disoriented. I was, like, sprinted the the ball up the court. (laughs) I thought I had a breakaway. And I was just sprinting at my own hoop, dude. Blew the layup. Shot on my own hoop, but missed the layup. (laughs) And then they, like, took me out and sat me down, dude. And they were like, dude, you need to, like, sit. There's something wrong with you. And I was like wicked dizzy. He was trying too hard. Dude, I was like going so yeah. hard. Bro, but in my head, I was like, dude, I have like a breakaway right now. Like, yeah. this is it, dude. Were you in good physical shape? You must have been in fucking. Like, yeah, I was in good shape. Dude, I would I would have been so jealous of you, man. Because nah. like back then, dude. I was, no, you wouldn't have, dude. I was like dude. tiny. The only thing I had is that I could like run a lot. But yeah. like. Well, that's what, I, that's what I would be jealous of. Bro, I would just dribble the ball into like six people. Really? Dude, the, the idea of like being in shape back then though was so admirable, man. Like I remember having like a heart attack after like five minutes of the oh, game. Oh, really? Yeah, I was in such bad shape, dude. Yeah. I'd have like two bagels of cream cheese like yeah, just every fun. day just drinking soda. Like, Oh, really? The whole game for me would like, I'd give it good, I'd give like five good attempts, five up and downs, and then I'd. Fuck, be, I'd be, be done. I'd be walking the court. Be gas, yeah, dude. I would just catch the ball and shoot. Dude, if you watch like a pickup game now where it's like older dudes, like if they play full court basketball, the game legitimately lasts one minute before <laughs> people are like walking, yeah. dude. Yeah. If you just have like one ounce of like more cardio than people, you just can run train. That's the only reason I would ever play pickup now is just to get like a good cardio session. It's so hard. Yeah. Someone always ends up getting hurt, though. Like, someone will fucking tear the ACL. And Bro, I've rolled my ankles like a hundred oh, times. Yeah. Dude, that's the worst when you roll your ankle and you think it's, like, broken. So you just sprain your ankle, though. Yeah. You're like, fuck. <laughs> dude, I tell you, dude, I tell you, like, about my fucking college roommate that, like, I let him get dunked on. I figured yeah. I told you that. Did I tell you that? Yeah, the super <clears throat> smart dude. Yeah, dude, he was, like, chalk. He's, like, high all the time, dude. Yeah, we were just, like, at UMass, like, playing on, like, the fucking... They had, like, mad... They had, like, three courts... Where, like, if you're, like, really shitty, you play in one. If you're, like, medium, you play in the other. That's where we always played. And then we were playing, like, this one game on, like, the fucking nasty court. Where it was all, like, the football players would play. Dude, I was covering this kid on my, like, he was so athletic. This white kid, he was, like, the most athletic white kid I've ever seen, dude. He was jacked. He was so fast. Dude, I was at the three-point line. And I just, like, take my eye off him for one second. Dude, my roommate, Chalk, is standing underneath the hoop. I turn around. I, I look. He's gone. I look back at the hoop, dude. He's legit in the air, catching an alley oop 
over the back of Chuck's head, dude. <laughs> just land, dunked and landed on the back of his head. And everyone was like, oh. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, that's my fault, Chuck. That's my bad, bro. You didn't care, though. No, he was like so high, dude. He had no idea what was going on. Dude, he was like lost at all times. Yeah. Bro, I, we put, dude, we played one time like hand, like drunk. Like, I don't know why we like, let's go to the rec center. Let's get drunk and go to the rec center. Just like fuck around. Yeah. Dude, one of my roommates was so fucking hammered, dude. He, we all smelled like vodka. We just were playing with these like tiny Asian kids, dude, who were like terrible. Like they could not, bro. They were all like five foot three and like didn't know how to play basketball. Dude, they were crushing us, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we were just so drunk. Dude, some kids with downs are like pretty balling. They're, they're, they're beefy. Yeah, dude. Oh, I, I remember uh, I lived in Narragansett like a few years ago. And my Asian friend who, uh, best friends with him all throughout my life. He yeah. like happened to live down the road and we would always skip class and go to these courts. Yeah. So, like we would always play one-on-one. And one day this dude showed up with a kid with downs and uh, he had to like actually try the, like the kid with downs was like ball like he was putting up shots. Dude. Really? Yeah. He was like backing my friend down. I was like, Nuh-uh. dude, you dude, can't. they have they have a they have a big ass. <clears throat> they have big asses. Yeah. So their post game is good. The for problem sure. is they're always like short, so you just you can kind of get the angle <clears throat> on them for the block. I mean, dude, they're just athletic in general. Super strong. Like, dude, they can back you down and shit. Yeah. They can back you down. I don't think they're athletic. They're, there's no coordination. Like they have yeah. no finishing ability. I mean, I think it's just like a mental thing, like they, like they're not gonna like read defenses. Like, oh, this is zone. Like I can attack the middle. Of the yeah, yeah. They're like spreading them. Yeah, dude. The second they get the ball, they're just putting up shots. Yeah, they put up shots, yeah. dude. Dude, we had this one kid. Fucking, dude. I'm just gonna drop names on this podcast. I don't care. This kid, Anthony Mashari. He wasn't retired or anything. Although he might, he might have been. I don't know. No. But dude, he had. Have you ever seen Manny Pacquiao shoot? Have you seen those videos? No. He he shoots like he's like. Like the brings the ball way back here and like yeah. brings his like fucking like feet up in like a weird way, yeah. dude. This kid shot just like that, except bro, he he was like de- he would come to like we would play pickup games and he would come to the court like decked out in like he would have like Miami Heat shorts like a Dwayne Wade like game jersey, dude, matching Dwayne Wade shoes, bro. He looked like you. He would have sleeves and shit and like a headband and then just come and like dude. He it was all about him like. You passed him the ball, he would huck up like a fucking deep three, just hit nothing, dude. And just run down the court, bro, the other way. Yeah. Play no defense, come back, get the ball, do it again, dude. It's all about confidence, man. Dude, he'd go like 0 for 40 every game, yeah. but just look sick. We should join a rec team, dude. Just fuck around. No, dude, like try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Show up in fucking tights, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to join the right league or else we're going to get like fucking yammed Dude, we on. should show up in uh, like... uh brown tights like the light brown <laughs> yeah tights. yeah like the beige ones. nothing under them skin covered dude start fucking nuts hanging out dude <laughs> <laughs> dude just fucking rip a hole in the middle dude just show up in that like short shorts and like a wife beater that'd be so t- that'd be sick <laughs> with like chains yeah just dude, start fights with people just straight faced confident yeah do like 360 layups dude just call for the like ball. we don't do any regular layups it's always 360 <laughs> 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 Bro, we yeah. just sabotage, dude. If we came in like headbands, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like when I wore my mom's tights, you felt powerful, dude. Do you know how fucking good that feels? It's like a thin material, so it's like your balls just feel like, dude. People have like tight fetish, like tight fetishes for tights. For sure, yeah. Dude. You might, dude. What is that? Uh, no, nah, dude. I don't even. I didn't, dude. Like a few months ago, my friend told me. Uh, I used to think lingerie was lingerie. That. What? It's spe- like how it's spelled. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's lingerie. It's actually lingerie. Yeah. I found that out like a few months ago. <laughs> how? So like when you saw it written down, you were like, oh, that word's lingerie. But you knew like what lingerie was. You wouldn't call it lingerie. Yeah. Like if you said lingerie, I would think about like woman's tights. Right. Stuff like that. But if you showed me the word lingerie, I'd be like, oh, lingerie. Yeah. Yeah. And you wouldn't know what it meant. Yeah. But you would just know. I'd be like, oh, like, what is this? Like, yeah. lingering. Yeah. Are we lingering around? Like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. Just no. like a bunch of people sneaking around, dude. Dude, we should show up to, in lingerie to a fucking men's <clears throat> league game. I mean, nowadays, man, like, I don't think anyone would really judge us, especially around here if we showed up in tights. No. Nah. Like, fucking bras. People go hard as fuck around here, though, with basketball. I mean, dude, if you're, like, in LA fitness, like, that's their life. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Dude, the, the other thing is, though, dude, everyone gets into fights, dude. Yeah. I would get into fucking... The thing about me, dude, is, like, I don't really, like, argue about anything in general, especially, like, fouls. Like, somebody could yeah. throw a fucking haymaker at me, and I'd be like, oh, it's fine. Like, that's Yeah, clean. yeah, yeah. I always get fouled, dude. Same. Obviously. Yeah, my vertical is, like, an inch and a half. I don't know why... <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know why anyone's fouling me, dude. <laughs> no, I have, a, I have a decent vertical, but, dude, it takes me probably 15 seconds to jump. To warm up to it? No, like to jump. Like, dude, I went to physical therapy and this dude was like, hey, let me see if you can touch the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. And it took me like legitimately seven seconds just to like squat down and explode. Mm. And I touched the ceiling, but he was like, that's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. You like? <clears throat> he was like, you have zero fast twitch muscle. Like it's all just muscle, but it's like <laughs> super slow twitch. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, just getting up. The, dude, you're like a rock. You're like yeah. a fucking rocket chip. Like oh, how they yeah. like. They like fucking the burners come on and it's just like, yeah. I mean, dude, that's how that's how every sport was for me. Yeah, especially like pitching. My pitching wind up took like ten seconds. Really, it was super slow, and then the ball would just fly out of my hands. Yeah, I have no fast switch muscles. Yeah, no way. I can just like go for days. You can actually like work on fast switch exercises, but it's like I don't know. Yeah, but you just look like yeah, that is good. Like box jumps and shit are good, but it is like sometimes annoying when like someone's in the gym just like going wicked hand with box jumps and just like, all right, man, like. Yeah, I would never do box jumps at a gym, dude. I feel like that would be super risky. Yeah. If you fall on those. You should look like a psycho. Yeah. No way, dude. I saw a fucking girl once doing box jumps with literally like, dude, it was like the size of this cup. <laughs> it was like this big. She was yeah. doing box jumps on it. I was like, you know, like the fucking like little step things that they have. Yeah. She's like doing it onto like one of those, and I was like, "Wow, why? What are we doing?" Dude? Yeah. They used to do those at CrossFit, dude. I hate CrossFit. Yeah, I mean, dude, I tried it once. I was in high school. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, dude. It wasn't wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. No, it was probably some of the funny funniest fucking things, dude, I've ever seen. They would have like they would have like sixty year old dudes walk in with their wives. Yeah, and they would be like, "You guys trying to do this?" Yeah, they're like clean. They're like clean and jerk yeah. one thirty five like fifty times. Yeah, dude, they, they they go. I signed up, and they were like, "What about the?" Uh, they were like, "Yeah, I see this is like your mom's debit." I was in high school. They were like, oh, yeah. "I see this is like your mom's debit card." Like, does she want to sign up? I was like, "Are you fucking high, dude?" No, dude. no, dude. My mom's, My mom's like, an elderly woman. Yeah, like, I don't want her doing fucking squat. Dude, cleans. that's why they get injured so much, yeah. dude. They get injured like a ri- if you know someone that does CrossFit, they're constantly injured. Yeah, and they like yet they swear by CrossFit. Well, I mean, that's like this. You can say that's like the same with like powerlifting and shit. But like, yeah, yeah, they're they're doing fucking scoliosis for time, dude. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's like how fast can I develop like osteoporosis? Oh yeah, go. Yeah, I remember, dude, just fucking dudes doing cleans in those fucking uh, yeah. classes, and yeah. they like couldn't get in that position, so their wrists were just like in their ass, S- dude. Bad. Yeah, just yelling, dude. It's like it's so bad, dude. dude. What are you doing this for, man? Dude. You know, I don't know, dude. I like you like have to work out, but like, dude, <laughs> gym culture and shit like is like, I lo- yeah. I go to the gym and like all I do is look at people and like think about how much I hate them. Really? So many people, dude. They, yeah. There's a guy, the dude at our gym that works there. Do you know this dude? He's like tall, like wicked hot dude, and he wear he always wears like a wife beater, like a black wife beater and shit like that, and he has like chains. He's like, he looks like a TikTok dude. And he has like a fucking winter hat on and like hair coming out. He's like, no, nah. dude, this he's guy, hot. he's hot though. Yeah. He's like a wicked good looking dude. Oh. He's like tall and works there, bro. He'll like just walk over. I'll be like working out. He'll just walk over and like stare at me and just do like, go to like a curl machine and just do like a set of curls for like, like 10 reps and then just like walk away. Yeah. It's like, dude, I hate this fucking guy. Yeah. You can't think about that though, dude. So fucking annoying. Yeah. No, it is tough. I don't, I don't know, man. If you see a hot chick, though, at the gym, dude, that's, like, basically pre-workout. Like, that's... Dude. <laughs> yeah, you fucking blew out your hamstring <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Dude. I'll fucking... Yeah. I thought I was going to fucking die last night, dude. Dude, if there, if I'm, like, at the gym and, and there's, like... Say I'm on, like, one of, like, the benches with, like, the dumbbells or whatever. And there's a hot girl working out next to me. Like, legitimately don't know how to be. I'm, like, yeah. so in my head about, like, the way I'm sitting. Yeah, just be present. Yeah. I can't even, it's like... It's crazy, like, dude, I've... uh my awareness for things is like super limited. Yeah. So like I could think that there's like a hot girl next to me and it could just be like a grown man, you know, with like a nice ass. Mm, Cause you'll like just clock it. So I'm just like, using like my peripheral. Yeah. And yeah. it's not always reliable, dude. So like a lot of the times <laughs> it'll be like a legitimate grown man. 
and like the whole set i was like that's a hot chick. yeah you're thinking it's a hot yeah, chick. i just fucking tore my pec muscle for a grown man <laughs> for dude. like a 45 yeah. year old <clears throat> but steroid you, user yeah i mean if you see like a hot chick doing like a legitimate exercise i mean dude i don't know it's basically like taking a sh- like you know that's like a double they're like some of the girls there just seem like like bitches though like i don't know yeah for sure Definitely. but i get it they just like yeah. don't like they just like head down like but they just look pissed off. Yeah, I don't want to be negative, dude. I just feel like everyone around here, like a lot of the girls are just like hot chicks and Mercedes that are like super materialistic. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I wouldn't mind just like talking to a fat chick with like a full bush who like doesn't pay her taxes. Just like a solid yeah. five. Yeah. I just want to like meet Virginia, dude. Like I don't want to. Yeah. I'm not into this whole like solid 10 stuff. Like you yeah. have a fucking, <clears throat> you have a fucking timeshare. Like I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the goal is to find like someone who's like an eight. But, like, yeah. doesn't know that they're really neat and, like, doesn't, like, post on social media and shit. Yeah, I mean, dude, but, like, if you find that, I don't think you're going to find that on, like, a fucking Hinge app or, like, at the eh, maybe at the you gym, might. I guess. I don't know. I think you're probably not going to find it at the gym. It's so hard to talk. No, no girl wants to be. I don't yeah. get how guys, like, talk to girls at gyms. Like, yeah. that's insane to me. You have to be, like, jacked, probably. Yeah, you have you, to be. You have to be, like, so freak. jacked that, like. Yeah. They're not even listening to what you're saying. Yeah, they're just like looking at you. And that t- the yeah. girl, that type of girl, like, isn't the type of girl you want. Like, they're. Yeah. I mean, dude, like, you also have to be like aware of like, you know, like if I'm at the gym, you know, rocking my triple XL Izod polo, like yeah. I'm not like, oh, this chick. Yeah. I'm I'm this chick's gym crush. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm here to fucking. They're like, who? Why is like my substitute teacher here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <clears throat> All, like the girl, the hottest girls at the gym are the ones that just like dress normal, and like I'm just like, oh, this girl seems like a normal girl. You think so? They just played like high school sports and they're just there because they like still like to exercise and like stay in shape. Yeah. It's not the girls that are like wearing sports bras and like, like that's just like, that irritates me. Like you're yeah. this, you're there to like look hot for people. Yeah. I and think like, I, I've definitely changed my mentality though, dude. I w- like, I wouldn't mind just like if there's like a, a chubby chick at the gym who's like ripping ass and like struggling. But she's like working hard. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind that either. That's hot too. You know what I mean? Like just a solid, there a after. solid fatty who's sweating, yeah. dude. She got like a little bit of ass sweat going on. Yeah, but she's working hard, dude. Yeah, you know, solid five, dude. I would take that over like some chick who's bending over for no reason. Yeah, you know, trying to find shit on the ground. Dude, there was a girl the other day, literally <clears throat> in front of the mirror, just taking mirror self, like yeah, dude, I was pulling there. We, down we her there, pants. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. You yeah. were there. She's yeah. there for like four hours. Dude, she was just like legit doing the thing where she was like trying to show her abs and yeah. like was like pulling down her pants like to her vagina. Yeah. And like taking a video. And I was just like, How yeah, what are you doing? Guys in guys in the fucking locker room always use that same thing, dude. The guys just be flat two bros. You'll walk in the locker room, there'll yeah. be two bros flexing in the mirror, taking pictures of each other. And I'm like, dude, how don't like Dude, we should start doing that. That's so gay, dude. <laughs> Dude, we got to use that sauna to our yeah. advantage. We well, got to like do like, retarded shit in there. Yeah. I mean, the fact that it bothers you that much, though, like. It just pisses me off, dude. I get fucking so irritated. Yeah. You just have to ignore it, man, though. I walk in front of them. Like, you got to be better than that, dude. There's no. nothing wrong with, like, like, dude, if you're a bodybuilder and you're flexing, there's nothing wrong with that, dude. It's still gay. <laughs> it's still so gay. Yeah. To just, like, care that much about, like, what you look like. Like, I get everyone cares yeah. what they look like, and that you should care what you look like, but you shouldn't be, like, every day you're flexing in front of a mirror. That's, like, well, dude, unhealthy. If, you, if you're a bodybuilder and you're training for a show and you're flexing... I hate that, though. Dude, I think... Flex, I don't, I'm not too educated on it. They have to, like, practice that, though. Yeah, but... They can't just show up and, you know... But Okay, but even doing those shows where you just go up there and you just flex, and there's, like, six dudes, they're all flexing... <laughs> and then there's a crowd that's like they're posing nice dude yeah that's yeah. even gayer they call it pose like that's gay that fucking pisses me off dude yeah. like i don't dude i have no problem with power lifters because they're like what they're doing is like for a specific goal of like yeah. they want to lift more weight like there's an athletic achievement there but if your reason for going to the gym is like to go up in three months from now pose for people yeah. like i can't get behind that yeah Someone happened to you, dude? Like, what's <laughs> it's so fucking <laughs> annoying, dude. It pisses me off. It literally... It sounds like me. you got, like, legitimately attacked by a bodybuilder once, dude. It's just fucking annoying, dude. Yeah. You jealous, dude? Like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> no, bro. They just irritate me, dude. I hate... Yeah. Just bros. I think it takes... I mean, dude, if... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, Nate's... Uh, Nate did bodybuilding. 
the, probably the funniest thing I ever heard in my life. Why? He like, kid's literally like so jacked, but he'll wear like a fucking cotton sweater. He'll yeah. wear like a rain jacket to the gym and squat like four plates. Yeah. Like he doesn't like show off. Right, right. But if you saw him in a muscle shirt, you'd be like, this kid is on legitimate testosterone. Yeah, so everyone's yeah. like asking me, they're like, dude, is Nate yeah. on stage? I'm like, no, dude. He's just like. He might be. He's eating just fucking lamb dick. And like, no, he's not, dude. But he, uh, he's like super passionate about it. But it's like funny, though, in like yeah. a funny way. Because like, cause he told like, me about the show he did. And uh, I like wanted to go, but I didn't end up, go- end up going. And I guess he like. He competed against dudes who were on legitimate steroids. Yeah, of course. He was the only natural one there, which yeah. is insane in general. Yeah, like, that's yeah. funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. so funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he uh, he actually beat a dude who was on steroids. Really? That's, that's how sick. jacked he is, dude. Yeah. So he goes out there, and he was, like, trying to explain it to me. He was like, yeah, dude, I went out there to do my routine, and the music didn't come on. <laughs> 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 so he was just doing his routine in silence. And I was like crying. That's the funniest thing. So funny, dude. Like he trained so hard. Dude, you, but that's when you realize how gay it is when like, if you take all the shit away, like if you take the music away, it's just a guy flexing as hard as he can. Yeah. Which that in itself is so funny. Just (laughs) someone like literally just being like flexing as hard as they possibly can. To you, dude, I want to go and just pa- flex as hard as I can, just fucking pass out into the first row. I think when you say gay, I think it's gay in the sense that it's like you could spend so much time and put in so much effort for it. Yeah. Just for some dude to be like, nah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like subjective. It's not like. It is, yeah. Powerlifting, it's like, dude, if you, you lift most weight, you win. Exactly. Bodybuilding is like, all right, this guy is lobbying for fucking. Yeah. You know, my jewelry company, I'm going right. to throw them up there. Right, that happens. It's all subjective. It's just like yeah. fucking. That's why it makes no sense to me. Like, it's not a yeah, real, it's, it's not an athletic competition. Yeah. And I get it's difficult in like your nutrition and stuff. Like that's, I get that. But you're not doing your nutrition for like an athletic goal. You're doing it for like just to like look a little better. Yeah. And then legit the next day, you don't look as good. It's like, it's not sustainable. It's stupid. <laughs> dude, it fucking, it really irritates me, dude. Bro, anyways, yeah. let's talk about the sauna, dude. We gotta go into the sauna together, bro. We gotta start hitting it wicked hard and make people concerned. Yeah. Man. My goal is to like make people at the gym like take notice and like be very concerned about who I am. Really? Like I wanna be the dude that's like always in the sauna. <laughs> like when people go in, dude, I wanna they're like I wanna be like, dude, you're always in here. Yeah. I mean, dude, the health benefits are pretty like, you know, straightforward. Like I yeah. I've been trying to hit it as much as possible. Dude, for sure. Sick, bro. Yeah. Dude, you get in there. Oh, I, I definitely want to like, I wish there was a steam room though. I know. Mad funny. Yeah. Just fuck around in the steam room. I used to hit the steam room a lot. I never really hit the sauna that much, but. I think the sauna might be, because it's hotter, I think it's probably better. Yeah, the sauna is definitely better for you, dude. We yeah. should start hitting ice baths. We should go to like Home Depot and buy like a My fucking... buddy just bought like one of those big tubs. Yeah. Dude, if we put one of those in our living room. Just had yeah. had chicks over and just like yeah, just tag Joe Rogan in the the post. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> dude, our apartment's just soaked from us like walking around, getting out of the ice bath. Yeah, just put it like right in front of the TV. I mean, I'd be down. You can you can literally go to Lowe's and buy like a fucking tub for like yeah. four dollars. Yeah, I think the ice is the most expensive part. Yeah, no, that would be the initial. especially around here, dude. Buy like one thing of ice for like forty bucks. Yeah, it would like, be yeah, like, it would be like melted before we even get home. Drop a grand on ice. It's like <laughs> water by the time you get home. <laughs> Just so we fucking, can take an ice bath for four minutes. Fucking car is flooded, dude. Dude, when I was in high school, we used to have races on, I think, like, say we had races on, like, Saturdays. I would take ice baths on Thursdays. And, dude, my pa- my parents probably thought I was, like, a fucking psychopath. Like, I would be 13 years old, yeah. and I would be, like, making ice all week in our freezer. Just packing it with ice, like, yeah. just with, like, two ice trays. And then at the end of the week, I would go, I would fill up the tub and, uh, dude, I would just close the door and I would just put a speaker in there and I would, just, I would blast Freebird and get in the ice bath, dude. And I'd stay in the ice bath for, for the duration of Freebird. It's like a 10 minute song. Yeah. Dude, I probably, th- they probably thought I was like legit nuts. Yeah. Imagine you your fucking. You must have felt so good the next day though. Yeah. You, yeah. You fell for the next day. 
It's better. Yeah. Well, I used to do it the day before races, and then I felt like the next day, like, didn't feel as good. But like two days before a race, it would be like good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you need a a couple days to like recover, kind. I yeah. think. I would do it before like double sessions, and I think it saved me from like. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I was just sit when it would like snow. I would sit out in the snow and just tights and just pack snow on myself. Tights. <laughs> yeah, like like running tights, like leggings. Yeah, leggings, yeah, yeah. dude. I would just sit out there. And, yeah, my mom's tights. Dude, I get her beige tights on. <laughs> and a headband. Telling you, dude. If, dude, if there's a rec league around here, <clears throat> I'm down to show up in tights, dude. Yeah, dude. If we end up playing ball for like a rec league, we need to practice. I know I gotta get better. Dude, I suck yeah. at shooting. That's my like problem. we can't embarrass ourselves out there, dude. Yeah, we gotta spend at least a week putting up like a thousand shots a day. Yeah, working on drills and stuff for no real reason. Yeah. Like, dude, it's we just should directly. fucking we should dribble with our left hand in traffic for like now. <laughs> dude, go to Times Square right yeah. now. I'll tie your fucking arm, your right arm behind your back, <laughs> just put you in the middle of the fucking road. Little middle of Ditmars, yeah. dude, just running up and down the street. I'll just start throwing rocks at you from a fucking balcony. Dude, you want, I want to get a parachute, do parachute drill, like running drills, dude. Just do oh, I fucking thought you, I thought you were going to say you want to parachute from a building. <laughs> 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 with my left hand, with my right arm tied behind my back. Yeah. I'd fucking, I'd do that, dude. Dude, we get a... We need to get involved in something, bro. Like, yeah, I feel no. like we like both. The, the weekends have been tough for me, dude, because I don't really have a hobby yet. I know. Like, even if it's, dude, even if we're doing like badminton or some shit, man, like we got to get out there and fucking show everyone yeah. what we're made of. Yeah, yeah. Basketball is not a bad idea, but like, dude, you got to like ease into it. Because I'm not trying dude, to Dude, I was fucking... nasty at badminton. Dude, if you fucking hurt yourself around here. Dude, I have like... no insurance right now. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, dude. If, bro, if I'm living us... in the most dangerous city. <laughs> Literally stepping out of my house is just immediate risk. Well, dude, think about it. If you tear your ACL, like you can't really take the subway. Yeah, true. You yeah, you're your life. fucked. Dude. Yeah, if someone crosses you up, dude, and you tear your ACL. Yeah, dude, I can't play. I my yeah. I roll my ankles every Maybe time. Maybe just like not play defense. No, because I'll go up for layups and then I come down on people and just you come blow my fucking <laughs> an- huh? <laughs> I just blow my fucking ankle out, dude. We'll find something, dude. I'm thinking either like badminton, like racquetball, or like uh, I've never like, played racquetball. That seems sick. Yeah, dude, you get a ra- we just get a racket and like the goggles and stuff. Oh, you need goggles? Yeah, let's yeah, see a hit in the eye, dude. We should go with like Lowe's fucking like home improvement goggles. <laughs> yeah, like lab, like when you're in lab in high school, dude. We should show up in fucking scuba suit. <laughs> Like fuck it scuba scuba suits. mask and snorkel scuba suits and fucking harpoon nets dude i wish i was like nasty at something so i could like show up dressed like a fucking dumbass and then just like just destroy people yeah, at it that would be sick at basketball if we showed up me and you wearing like triple xl iz polos yeah like sweatpants and fucking running shoes. short shorts over start the putting up shots from half court just draining dude, dude have you seen yeah. that have you seen that homeless dude it's down on like West 4th Street. There's like basketball courts that are like, it's near like the cellar and all that. It's like yeah. a famous basketball court. There's a homeless guy that lives in there. He goes viral all the time online. Really? He just wears like jeans and, and like Timberlands and just is nasty. Wow. He, I, dude, I was down there getting pizza and he was like in the pizza place, like fucking freaking out at people. Really? And I was like, dude, I know you from the internet. He's like, yeah, that's me, dude. <laughs> I get crossed up. Give me money. Yeah. It's pretty funny. You should have played him one on one, dude. Just fucking punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah, dude, we need we need fucking hobbies, dude. Because yeah. we need, you know, we just need like a better way to meet people. And like, you'd think that would be comedy, but like, I don't know, man. We gotta like, we just gotta like get in with the crew. Yeah, I mean, we could join like a reading club or something like that. I, I'm not gonna read, dude. Really? Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah, I don't want to like be in like a club though, dude, like a group. Yeah. I mean, dude, we could fucking join like a, a rich fucking like Elks Lodge. Yeah. Just fucking just fucking whip our nuts out in the locker room, dude. Start like start making connections. You think they have a locker room in the Elks Lodge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think an Elks Lodge is, dude? I don't fucking know. It's just like a dude, it's also not rich, dude. It's like poor it's like veterans and like it's like fifty five year old alcoholic dudes that go and drink like three dollar Bud oh, Lights shit. at like ten AM. Really? Dude, we, we you would have like that's the opposite of what you're yeah. into yeah 
I'm you were sorry. like, you're like, I need, like, you're like disciplined and like, like going to the gym, dude. That's like the exact, they just like rip butts and like really? drink bald lights. Yeah. Fuck. I thought an Elks Lodge was just like a bunch of ripped dudes fucking no. whipping their nuts out, dude, and talking like finance. No, they just have like fundraisers and like get hammered. Yeah. I mean, dude, we could go there and just pretend we're rich. Fucking show everyone our left nut. Be like, you guys trying to fucking hedge. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> Be like, dude, I don't even have a 401k. <laughs> yeah. What is like a rich area though? Like uh, not an Elks Lodge, maybe like a... Uh, I don't know. There's like a... Uh, dude, it's a fuck's like a name. country club, dude. Country clubs are pretty Yeah, like, country club, yeah. yeah. Dude, we could join like the Trump golf course. Yeah. Just go out there and fucking like... Just piss everyone off. Yeah. Yeah. Go out there with blow... Dude, did you ever do that when you were young? Like go out... A, we used to... On runs in high school, like there was a golf course in here. So we would run through the woods and then just go out to the holes. And I'd be like, dudes... Like, it's like a nice golf course, dude. They probably spent, like, $100 to play golf. Yeah. We'd just be sitting in the woods at holes. Just, like, when they would swing, we would just, like, moan. They were, like, backswing. We'd be like, oh. Dude, anytime. (laughs) Anytime, dude, I would go to, like, golf or anything like that where there's rich people. Yeah. They they always get super drunk. And then they start talking about work and how they've been working for the same company for 30 years. Yeah. That's when you slide in. You're like, dude. Start a business, man. He tries with, yeah. With. I just, I just take out my driver and fucking swing at their <laughs> legs as hard as I can. <laughs> Bro, imagine if you fucking like, like met a rich guy and you're like, yeah, dude, let's have, let's go golfing and have a business, <laughs> a business meeting. <laughs> Bro, he's like standing like, off the yeah. side of the hole. It's like the first hole, and you're, you're like mad yeah. professional. You're gonna like talk business. Yeah. You're like, dude, it's gonna be a great day, dude. We're getting a lot of business stuff. You like set up your first fucking. You like take out your drive. You set up the first tee, and then you just fucking angle off at him, and just take a vicious hack, dude. <laughs> you just launch the ball at him as hard as you could, dude. Dude, one time, uh, I went golfing at Twilight at this like pretty nice course. I was by myself. Twilight, like, you're talking about like the time of day. Yeah, like at night. So it was, I was by myself, and there was another dude there who was by himself. He was just trying to get away from his wife, and we got paired up, dude. And I was like pretty buzzed. Did I you was used like, to go- golf a lot? Yeah, I was like four twisted tees deep. Like I was by just- yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were just going golfing by yourself on twisted. Yeah, I was, I was on vacation. You were now. twisted up, dude. Nobody wanted to go golfing, dude. And the way the course is set up, dude, we were on like the third hole, and this dude's like, "Yeah, man, I work for Panasonic, bro. I'm thinking about retiring like a year, or whatever." He's talking yeah. finance with me. He's yeah. Like, what do you got saved up, bro? I was like, I'm unemployed right now, dude. Yeah, like. like- I'm four <laughs> twisted tees deep, dude. Clearly, I've, I've clearly yeah. we're not on the same. I was wavelength. like, dude, I work for Amazon, bro. Yeah. Like, but dude, the way the course is set up, like every, like a lot of the holes, there's cages, so it's like the tee is in the middle of the cage. There's like okay. f- there's fencing on each side. Of oh yeah, and, and like the box. Yeah, so there's yeah. boxes, dude, and I'm like four twisted tees deep, and I have no idea how to golf. This dude's nasty. Yeah. And, like, he's talking to me about, like, Panasonic and stuff. Yeah, and I'm keeping yeah. a straight face. I'm like, it's awesome, man. Like, I hope retirement's good. I'm about to tee off, dude, and he's standing off to the right. Literally, <laughs> swing as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking beam the fence, like, <laughs> dude, fucking two feet away from him. Yeah. And then uh, he keeps a straight face and just keeps walking. And he's like, all right. Like, and you can tell in his head, he's like, next time, I'm just not going to stand there. Yeah. So I like, dude, I hit the ball literally like 20 yards. So I'm walking after the ball and he's walking straight, dude, for literally like a hundred yards. I just kept hitting it at this dude, like <laughs> non-intentionally, dude. You just kept hitting it like yeah, at him. I just kept him. hitting it at him. Yeah. <laughs> dude, we used to fuck around, dude. Literally going to the driving range, bro, when I was like younger, it was no joke, like the highlight of my like fucking day. Like every day, dude, we would go to the drive range and just like, first off, like we would just scream shit, like fuck around always, dude. We would, would take, you, what would you scream? Dude, we would Give just, me an example, dude, right there'd now. be like the line of the, of like the drive range. Like there's like, yeah. there'd be like 50 people teeing off and dude, we'd just be in my buddy's truck, dude. We, like I told you, he like put like a train horn in it and we would just be driving by when people are teeing off. Like we'd be like, we would go, oh, and just yeah. fucking hit the horn, dude. And people would just be like. Like fucking screaming at us, dude. As we're just like driving up the street laughing. Yeah. But dude, we would go and just like take. We would use their drivers, dude. And like we thought it was the funniest thing to just like fucking put a ball down and just take a hack as hard as we could and just let the fucking driver go, dude. Like 
70 yards, like bro. Like the rental driver? Yeah, dude. We would just launch them, bro. So people would be like looking at us like, dude, if you're just like there trying to like practice, you're like fucking like, yeah. you're like wedge. You're like trying to get better. And then you yeah. see this kid next to you like launching <clears throat> drivers. It's the funniest thing. I'd be <laughs> fucking pissed. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. People would get so fucking yeah. mad, dude. That's why I put my headphones in while I go to the driving range because I know there's going to be someone like you. Being fucking fucked. around, dude. <laughs> dude. Yeah. Like hitting balls at people. Dude, one time. <laughs> So one time my buddy let the driver go and somehow it ended up on top of the roof that like he was standing under, dude. He like swung it like angled up, dude. Yeah. And he had to tell the guy, he's like, dude, I lost the driver. He's like, where'd it go? And he's like, it's on the roof. <laughs> so, dude, that's a dude, that's a solid place to find like your dream girl is the driving range or at a, a golf course. I don't think I like golf girls. I mean, dude, if we went golfing, I'm sure we will when we're older and we're, you know. Dead. Settle down, yeah, dude. It's it's super fun, man. Golf is golf so fun. fun. Yeah, it's so fun. much fun, dude. It's fun, but like when, uh, when I was younger, I would take it as a joke, like you did. And I remember this one kid uh, <laughs> who was really attractive, who I knew. He showed up with uh, his girlfriend. Yeah, and I was just like trying to get better at golf. Yeah, <clears throat> I had two drivers at the time, and he was like, "Yo, Johnny." He was like, "Yo, let me see that swing." <laughs> And I remember I swung as hard as I could, and I just let go of the driver, dude. And then, I, uh, dude, I remember I like tried to redeem myself, so I take out my second driver, <laughs> <laughs> and I swung again, and I just broke off the head. So dude. I had no drivers left, and I just left the other one out there. I Why remember, do people do that? You'll be yeah. on a golf course, and they'll just be like a club laying. Yeah. Well, and I always am like, dude, how psychotic do you have to be to just not go get it? I mean, usually they forget them, but in my situation, I was just so embarrassed. I was like, I'll come back in like six months and get it, which is like, doesn't even make sense. Yeah, no. I came back a few months later. I was like, you guys have like a Nike fucking They're like, cobalt driver out there? It was like, how long ago? Like last week? And I was like, man, like six months ago? <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, dude. <laughs> yeah. They were like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Gol I don't like golf, golf girls. Like, dude, a, big it's, a lot of girls, it's their whole personality is <clears throat> like it becomes like a thing they're like i'm a girl that loves golf yeah you know what i mean and like i think they do it just to like to like oppress guys it's so fucking annoying <laughs> it is dude such like a radical view dude dude that's dude you don't hate that when no, like dude, a, the girl who clearly doesn't like golf is just like oh, pretending yeah, I mean, to if, like golf if you're yeah dude there's chicks who like will take 40 cuts at a golf ball miss every time and then the 50th they'll put it on like instagram yes dude yes like, and they'll post like with like no underwear on, on the links today but dude there are legitimate females man who will go out there and fucking probably yeah. better than me and you dude for sure that's for what sure. i'm talking about dude. for sure yeah. yeah those are that's cool those are the full but even checks. them dude no dude because they only want to fuck like golf guys no dude i'm talking about the full bush chicks who don't pay their taxes dude in like, i'm not the talking about fucking candace who's a, t a 10 <laughs> dude on their backswing their fucking skirt comes up and you see full yeah. bush and you're like all right nice they just rip ass dude and you're like that's my girl dude <laughs> <laughs> bro it is like six deep <laughs> Just give you like a little nudge. She's just fucking, she just pukes and fucking tees <laughs> off, dude. Rips a line drive, dude. You're like, that's my fucking girl, bro. That's Cheryl. <laughs> Her name's like fucking Samantha. Yeah, fucking Helga. Like, Get him, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pop one off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, that is mad hot. Dude, I'm not even joking when I say that, dude. <clears throat> like, I'm, I'm hoping. Like, what is your attraction to like girls that are like, you want like a disgusting no, i just want to drive around with a chick listen to fucking you shook me all night long and just fucking <laughs> <laughs> just not talk <laughs> just jam out dude yeah with, true, true, just true. jam out with a fatty dude and yeah just fucking drink donkeys yeah dude just have like a big bodied bitch that can just fucking no i'm not even talking big but i'm talking about like a fullback dude <clears throat> that's what i'm saying like a like a third string fullback yeah like not big enough yet but broad shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, just like a chubby <laughs> chick, man, who has feelings and, like, cares about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, she doesn't have to be chubby. Like, it could just be like... Nah, a, man, I think she does. You think? I'm Why? looking for, like, a small, like, short, Chub like, moderately chubby chick. Yeah. Who's, like, emotional and, like, nurturing. Like, a good mom. Yeah. Who has, like, a sense of humor, dude. Yeah, yeah, Full yeah. Full bush, yeah, like that's we talked nice. about. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. She's shaved, dude. It's over. There's always like an unawareness to them. Like they're like, you know. What do you mean? 
just like with those chicks, there's always like an unawareness because they like probably don't get out that much. Yeah. Like I have an unawareness. Yeah. To myself. Like sometimes I'll be somewhere and I'll be like, where the fuck am I, dude? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just confused. Yeah. I'm looking for a confused, confused chick. Confused yeah. chick. Yeah. So you guys can just be confused <clears throat> together. Like low IQ. Like. Yeah. But like fun. For sure, dude. Yeah. That just, basically sums up low IQ. Just like down to do whatever because like she doesn't have anything going on her in her head really to like say otherwise. Like yeah. there's nothing in her that's like this is a bad idea or like yeah, what like am I she doing? sees me and she's like, oh, that's normal, right? Which is insane to think. Right? But she's just ripping ass at a fucking driving range. Yeah, dude. If if a girl rips ass, dude, imagine if a girl came up to you and fucking ripped a dime, dude. She was like, you like that? <laughs> she goes, watch this, dude. She fucking <laughs> fart, farts in her backswing and then just fucking. <laughs> Pops off a nice line yeah. drive, dude. If it would, dude, if a hot chick ripped ass in front of you, though, it wouldn't be that funny. Like, it would be kind of disturbing. It would be disturbing. But if, like, a moderately, like, chubby chick who was, like, kind of silly came yeah. up and was yeah, like, yeah. Who's you, that chick from, you know, there's that, there's that, like, Barstool <clears throat> podcast with, like, the, it's like that Brianna chicken fry girl and then yeah. the other girl that she's with. You know what I'm talking about? She's no. from Boston. No. You would like that girl. She's just oh, like yeah. a she's like a chubby Irish girl. And she yeah. just is like kind of like fucking crazy. Yeah. She just like talks like a dude with like a Boston accent. Yeah. I feel like she'd be like chill. Fuck yeah, she'd dude. Be like a good mix. I'll hit her up, dude. Yeah, you should <clears throat> like, hey. slide in and be like, hey, I'm just trying to like sit around, and fart, like drive around. Yeah. Just like chill. Yeah. I mean, dude, I don't. <clears throat> I think about this a lot though, dude. It's like the amount of times I've driven around. <clears throat> just listening to like classic rock, mm -hmm. like the classics. Yeah. Just over caffeinated. Like Bon Jovi. Like I'll think about love and like what it means to me. Right. Just being with a girl who can like listen to that stuff. Right. And, like, and just chill. Just fucking just live, dude. You know? Yeah. You don't want a girl that you like constantly have to entertain. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A girl you have to like always be like interesting to. Well, I can be like naturally entertaining, but like I think like an old school chick would be kind of cool, man. Cause we're both kind of like old school, like yeah, like I don't want to listen to fucking uh, Jack Sparrow and fucking <laughs> Jack Sparrow. Yeah, what's the dude's name? Jack Jack Harlow. Yeah. Jack Sparrow is the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, that well, would be fucking sick, dude. Yeah, ride around listening to Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack. Yeah, with like a <clears throat> fucking just a fatty, just a fucking hard on dude, just riding through fucking mailboxes yeah. with <laughs> no fucking side view <laughs> side view <laughs> dangling off your car. Yeah, dude, you yeah. pick up a dude. There was a while I like fucking. <laughs> Bro, I hit the side of my house, backing out of my driveway, just <laughs> tore up the side of my car. <laughs> Bro, I tore up the side of my car, and so my side view mirror was just like dangling by the wires, dude. And I picked up this chick I used to work with. We were like gonna go to the bar and hang out. I was like, dude, definitely gonna like. She definitely likes me. And then uh, we, we hung were, like, out. Fucking dude. six deep when it happened. Dude, no, <laughs> I don't know how, dude. I just fucking backed out. Hit. Yeah. The chimney was like protruding out the side of the house. I just like smoked it. And uh, dude, I picked her up with no side view mirror. And then uh, we hung out and like I tried to kiss her and she was like, no. And then uh, I dropped her off. And then the next like two weeks later, she was like, yeah, like it was like, it's like really unattractive that you didn't have a side view mirror. And I was like, yeah, we're just not going to. We're not going to get along. Yeah. It's just who I am, dude. It took me like three months to fix it. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you picked up a fatty <laughs> and you started blasting Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> just fucking, I can't even like think of you that. You just fucking right leveled now. like 10 mailbox in a row and then just dropped her <laughs> off. <laughs> Dude, if, yeah, if you just pulled up, if you go, if you text a girl and said, come outside, I'm going to be there in one minute, yeah. and you just pulled up smoking like six parked cars, <laughs> and then blasting yeah. fucking like, dude, uh, like, Band of Brothers, like Hans Zimmer, <laughs> just like raging yeah. classical music out yeah. the side, and you just fucking got, she just got him, was like cool about yeah. it. Be, that's like your idea. Dude, day. you're just wearing a construction cap with two <laughs> cigarettes in your nose, <laughs> like one in your mouth and then both in your ears. Yeah, drinking a fucking <clears throat> Sprite from McDonald's. You just gas it up, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're like flash flood warnings in the area, baby. Dude, you do that thing where you fucking. It's in drive, and you fucking turn around like you're backing up, and you just fucking floor it, dude. Yeah. Just hit the parked car in front of you. That's like, <laughs> that is like ideal. That's like an ideal date. <laughs> you think she'd go to her friends and be like, dude, I found the one? Yeah. I met this guy who hit 10 mailboxes <laughs> in reverse. 
I think he's the one. Dude, my friend, I'm not going to say who. It's a kid we know. <laughs> Dude, I might have told you this. He, like, got drunk and, like, <clears throat> was trying to go meet some chick. And uh, he was <laughs> he was pulling up to a uh, fucking – it was, like, the middle of the night. He, like, was pulling up to a stop, uh, stop fucking stoplight. And he just, like, rear-ended the car in front of him and, like, decided to just take off. <laughs> and so <laughs> – Dude, he takes off through this intersection. He's, like, driving through the city. And he, like, sees a cop car coming. So he, like, pulls down the street, but it's a dead end. Yeah. And he, he, like, floors it down to the dead end. He realizes he's trapped. And there's, like, cops at the end of the street, dude. <laughs> dude, he just put it in reverse. Just gunned it in reverse <laughs> up the street, dude. <laughs> he hit, like, six cars and tore his bumper off. <laughs> The cops were just sitting there watching the whole thing happen, dude. Yeah. Like there was no escaping, dude. He was just trapped, just <laughs> just smashing cars, dude. So they fucking stopped him, and he got out. And bro, he just like talked him out of his t- out of a ticket, dude. He just was like, "Yeah, I'm like," <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, I'm a comedian. I'm coming from a comedy show." <laughs> like somehow that worked, dude. Yeah. And he showed up to our house. They like wouldn't let him drive. Obviously, he walked back to our house. With the bumper of his car. <laughs> he just, like, put it in our front lawn, dude. Holy shit, Yeah, it was dude. fucked Those up. Those must have been some nice cops. Dude, dude. you showed up with, like, the, his wrist broken. Wow. And he was just, like, hammered. We were just like, holy shit, man. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, the fact that he didn't get a Dewey. It's fucking crazy. It's wild, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how. He just so lucky. In dude. front of a, the cops hit, like, yeah. six cars. There's a kid from my town who drove into a lake full speed. <laughs> <laughs> didn't get a Dewey, dude. Dude, one time I was driving the ambulance, bro, and there was, like, a cop in front of us and then, like, a BMW in front of the cop, and the fucking car is, like, kind of swerving a little. I'm like, oh, this guy's, like, definitely going to get pulled over. Dude, he just, whatever reason, he just, like, was driving through this, like, intersection, and he just swerved and drove over an island, like, an island, like, six curbs and into a fucking telephone pole. The cop just like pulls over and just like takes him out of the car and just puts him in the ambulance. Is like go home. Yeah, just like I feel like go. if you get <clears throat> injured, you have a better chance of not getting. Yeah, a, you could just say you're injured or a diabetic. <clears throat> yeah, or just injure yourself. <laughs> just I feel smash. like if I wasn't fucked up enough. Yeah, just like fucking go head first through dude, the windshield. So funny driving your car full speed into a lake. Yeah, it was, dude. It was literally a, a downward sloping like narrow road. It just went <laughs> full speed into a fucking pond. You know how funny that would be to see. <laughs> just no brakes, dude. Just yeah. dude, they're fishing out your car. They're just like, what happened? You're like, ah, you can see. They're like, just came up yeah, on me. Fast. Like, you didn't see the three signs. <laughs> you didn't see the entire lake in front of you. Yeah. You didn't see that body of water and then that <laughs> fucking rail guard. Yeah, just like I don't know what happened. <clears throat> I just said rail guard <laughs> instead of guardrail. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, we're at like 120. All right. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> That was our first episode. Uh, this is like gay, but you have to say it. Uh, subscribe to our podcast. Find us on. Yeah, just like if you're watching on YouTube, just like give us a subscription. We're going to try to build this thing up. We want this to be fun and uh, grow. And we're going to do more. And uh, hopefully, you know, down the line, dude, we have like a community. We have like uh, some like. Just a band of brothers and sisters. Dude. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And, dude, yeah, we want to, like, fucking make merch, dude. Have a Patreon. Like, hopefully this thing grows, dude. Yeah. We'll get, like, 500 episodes. Yeah, we'll and just get, just, like, three. Once people. we hit 500 episodes, we're we're going to fucking probably, like, yeah. end things just on air like, <clears throat> in a bad way. But um, might, like, suicide bomb the studio. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, Leave follow us. And, uh, yeah, no, for real. I mean, we'll fucking up our game up, dude, once we get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, dude. This, this is be- only... This is just the start, dude. This is the renaissance. Yeah.